this problem from series and sequence of function and related to uniform convergence right and the problem is prove that the series summation n equal to 1 to infinity cos nx by n to the power p and summation 1 to infinity sin nx by n to the power p both converge uniformly for all p satisfying 0 less p less equal to 1 and any closed interval a b on 10 in 0 to pi. Okay. We here solve only one problem and another problem as your home task. Okay. Now we take the first problem and this is given by summation 1 to infinity cos nx by n to the power p. Here we use three result for the whole problem. The first is Dirichlet test of uniform convergence of the series of function and we use two trigon mythical identity. We know in our HS class. Okay. We write here these two result. We use this result for the second problem and this result for the first problem. And we see first the Dirichlet test. What is Dirichlet test? In Dirichlet test, it is said that summation n equal to 1 to infinity u n vn is uniform convergent in a b if three conditions are satisfied. The first condition is Rf partial sum of the sequence of function u n. This is r equal to 1 to n u r x. That is the RF, RF partial sum is uniformly bounded. Okay. Here we take u n x. This is equal to cos n x. And we know that summation r equal to 1 to n u r x. This is equal to cos x plus cos 2 x plus cos n x. Right, and by the result this, we get sin nx by 2 into sin x by 2 into cos of x plus nx by 2. This is the first angle and this is the last angle by 2. We use this formula. Okay. Now to show this partial sum is uniformly bounded, we have take here mod of summation r equal to 1 to n u r x. Right. And this is this is given by mod of sin nx by 2 into cos n plus 1 into x by 2 by sin x by 2. Okay. And since the maximum value of sin cos both are both are 1, so we write this. This is 1 by sin x by 2, and this is given by cosec x by 2 and we know that the value of cosec theta is maximum near 2 pi because near 2 pi sin theta is 0 so cosec theta is maximum so we get this is less than cosec b by 2 because b is near 2 pi ok so it is clear that this sum is uniformly bounded and bounded by cosec b by 2. So, first condition is satisfied. Okay. Now, we take the second sequence of function. This is v n x. What is v n x? v n x is 1 by n to the power b. And clearly, this sequence of function is monotonic. Monotonic, here monotonic decreasing. Because p is 0 less p less equal to 1 and this is monotonic decreasing sequence ok and obviously this is tends to 0 as n tends to infinity clear so we get the vx that is the limit function of the sequence of function vnx this is equal to 0 ok now mod of vnx minus vx vnx minus vx this is equal to mod of 1 by n to the power p minus 0 
and this is given by 1 by a to the power p and if it be taken as less than epsilon then it must have n to the power p greater than 1 by epsilon that is n greater than 1 by epsilon to the power 1 by p okay and then we let k be a positive integer such that this is box of 1 by epsilon to the power 1 by p plus 1 okay and then we write mod of vnx minus minus vx less than epsilon for all n greater or equal to k and for all x belongs to a okay and this condition says that this condition says that the condition 3 of Dirichlet test Vn uniformly converts to 0 because here Vx is equal to 0 we already go here okay so all the condition of Dirichlet test are satisfied by the series by the series of function okay so we easily prove this series of function is converts uniformly for all x belongs a b and for all p in 0 less p less protocol okay and we easily solve or easily show this series is also uniformly compact thank you thank you for watching